பிரிட்டிஷ் கவுன்சில் சார்பாக நடைபெற்றுக் கொண்டிருக்க இந்த கல்வித்துறையினுடைய வளர்ச்சி பற்றிய இந்த கருத்தரங்கத்தில் வரவேற்புரையாற்றி இருக்கிற திரு ஜனக புஷ்பநாதன் தென்னிந்திய பிரிட்டிஷ் கவுன்சிலுடைய இயக்குநர் அவர்களே சிறப்புரையாற்றி இருக்கிற ஆலிவர் பால்காச்சர் அவர்களே சர் ஸ்டீவ் ஸ்மித் அவர்களே எனக்கு முன்னால் உரையாற்றி அமர்ந்திருக்கிற என் அன்பிற்குரிய தம்பி பள்ளி கல்வித்துறை அமைச்சர் அன்பிற்குரிய சகோதரர் மகேஷ் அவர்களே நிகழ்ச்சியிலே கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற உயர்கல்வித்துறை முதன்மை செயலாளர் கார்த்திக் அவர்களே கல்விக்கல்வித்துறை செயலாளர் உஷாகர் தேவன் அவர்களே குழுமியிருக்கிற துணைவேந்தர்களே பிரிட்டனிலிருந்து வந்திருக்கிற கல்வியாளர்களே பத்திரிகையாளர்களே அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் அன்பான வணக்கம் ஐ ரியலி வெல்கம் சபர் பர்டிகுலர்லி அவர் பிரிட்டிஷ் டிப்டி ஹை கமிஷனர் மிஸ்டர் ஆலிவர் பலியாச்சன் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் யூகே கவர்மெண்ட் இன்டர்நேஷனல் எஜுகேஷன் சாம்பியன் மிஸ்டர் ஸ்டீவ் ஸ்மித் as well as i welcome our british educationists those who are summoned here and our vice chancellors educationists and also the press people really it gives me great pleasure to participate in this discussion on higher education mission discussion particularly as you all know here what the state government is doing and what the british government is doing all things were explained by our honorable minister mr nagesh priyamuri as well as our steve smith has explained what is the relationship between british education and tamil nadu indian education particularly i want to say some few words i am a student of international studies and history this is me the sanso professor in international relations this is really very happy <laughs> it's not only international relations now international relations in education that is the main concept of this discussion what we are going to do in this discussion we are going to develop the educational relationship between the nations one thing i want to remember as a student of history only during the british school in india throughout india in tamil nadu the education developed nobody can deny it particularly the madras university which is very famous like you heard of it madras university and anamal university they have created only during the british rule in india so the british rule in india as i studied in the international relations is a blessing in disguise it's really a disguise no one thought about it because it is a part of the rule but it is a blessing that because of your rule in yetun tamil nadu in india education is developed to be a greater extent particularly in all aspects in the seasons so here the relationship between british and india it starts from a long time but now still it exists that is what this council goes to be so here we want to develop our international relations through education how even our chief minister has rightly told and the two eyes one is education one is health now chief minister is always saying like this he is concentrating more on education he clearly said it is not only the aim of education system to improve the number of students it is not only the increase the quantity but it is to improve quality 
not only quantity but also quality. How can we develop the quality of education? It should start from the school education. That is what our Magesh Puyamidi has told and we invited you to visit the schools also. We are providing morning tiffin also to the school students in Tamil Nadu. Because we improve the students' number. At the same time, we are also to improve the standard of education. That is what we are doing. That is why, as our minister and the members has rightly told, even our then South, South Indian community director has told, non government scheme. She also has told about it. The non government scheme, the standard of education. Particularly, we, as our school education minister told, we are following the two language formula. Still, we are following the two language formula. Through India, there are many university colleges, three languages, four languages are also there. But compulsory, they can study more languages, no problem of it. They can study Hindi, they can study Telugu, uh, we are not objecting to it. But in school and college education, compulsory they have to study, compulsory they have to write the examinations, both English and Tamil. That is two language formula in Tamil language. That is from Anna's days. Anna was the previous chief minister from 1967. This was followed from those in 1967. We are following this two language formula system. Our calendar, as our lady has told, Kalingar was the first chief minister to visit this British township. It was really proud of it. In 2007, he came here and he was mainly responsible for releasing a book. Then in 2006, there was a relationship between the British Council and the, your, uh, particularly, there was a certificate, British Business English Certificate. In 2006, it was signed. In 2006 itself, British English Certificate. That is, our students are to be allowed to study in the Cambridge University, particularly. Then, this was really for an improvement of international studies and international communication. From those days, it was developing, known and imaged. So here, 